Interventing the DJ Qual story. I had to wear this I have to wear this jacket 987 more times because I paid too much money for it. I don't really have it There's literally $30 total of other clothing on my body right now. But it's too hot to wear this. So y'all, do you know what I hate? Glitter. I hate glitter more than anything in this whole wide world. And I sat in this chair that was covered in glitter just now. I've got glitter on my hands. And six months from now, when the strike ends, I'm sitting on set somewhere, somebody's gonna do this. You've got a little glitter on your cheek. <laughs> I had a friend that came to visit me once um, in Los Angeles from New York, and she put a skirt that was covered in glitter through my washer and dryer. Oh. Yes, a glitter bomb is my actual nightmare, right? And it's a family thing too. My sister also hates glitter, so what, she bought a new house. And so I sent her a card that was covered in glitter. Wow. And the text was this, you brought glitter into my home. Yeah. She'll never ever let me ever forget it, ever. So y'all, I'm happy to be here. This is my favorite show of the year. Uh, I love DC so much. I love DC, this is the cleanest city with the most rats in the whole world. <laughs> It is shocking. These rats do not care about you. They're not thinking about you. I turn into a 1950s housewife around rats, complete with like crinoline coming out of my jeans. Like I am so afraid of them. I'm so afraid of them. So the last time I was here, I was walking to 7-Eleven and like I'm addicted to convenience stores. Like when, when you and I lived in Vancouver for Man in a High Castle, I lived the furthest, thanks. I lived uh, the furthest that I've ever lived from a convenience store. Like in my neighborhood in Los Angeles, there's a market a half a block away. And that's why I will never ever move. Um, but I, so I was walking to 7-Eleven, it's like a mile. And so I was walking there and I walked, you know those roundabouts with like the parts in them here? So I was walking through one of those and the light changed and like a horror movie, a wall of rats started running towards me. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. And they were not, they weren't dodging me. They were like running over my feet. And I was in there doing that. Yeah, it scared the hell out of me. I really, 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 really hate them. Um, but I love y'all and I'm happy to be here. And we're gonna have a great weekend. So I have a whole family. Okay, if there are children here, I'm warning you now, um, it's about masturbation, okay? But, but there's a reason for this. There's a reason for this story. Okay, so my therapist recently called to my attention the reason why I'm afraid of, I've become afraid of flying is because I'm a control freak. I'm a complete control freak. Like, I don't want to get married in front of people because I don't want to be looked at. I don't want attention that I cannot control. And when she first told me that I, when she thought I was a control freak, I said this, I don't think I am, she went exhibit A the defense rest. <laughs> and I was like, fair enough, fair enough. Um, anyway, so I had, I was on a, a show called Legit, which is my favorite thing I've ever done other than Supernatural. Um, uh, I really love doing the show. Oh, I, oh, I can't, I can't, can't tell this because of the strike. Okay, oh, I can, I can say this. I, it wasn't legit. It was another show. That's right. But I can't mention the names, right? right. Okay, so now, now we're square. Um, uh, watch me be on the news. Um, so, uh, <laughs> so anyway, so I got, uh, so I, in this one scene, my father, my brother, the star of the show, and I had to go to a rub and tub. Do you know what a rub and tub is? Of course you do. Um, you all been to one, I'm sure. Um, so, so, and I became, and I was like, as, and I was like, oh, you know, you read it it's this much of a, of a sentence. It's like, it's like, but it's like when I read a script, it's like this. It's like um, exterior tundra, and I'm like, oh, that's not bad at all. And then I get there, and like when I was in Fargo, I'm outside for my phone thinks I'm talking to it. I think I said something. It sounded like Hey Siri. Anyway, so um, I know, right? Um, so I, I, it, I have to get tugged off on camera, and so I, and I was like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do that, I guess. And it was that kind of show. And as it got closer to the date, I started getting really nervous 
that I would stumble into my own sex space, my own real life sex space, that not that many people have seen, sadly. Um, but I, I really started, it really, I, that's how I, what my brain does, right? So a fear will pop up and then the fear will become real and I'll start building on that fear. Like one time we had an earthquake and I had to go meet somebody for dinner and I became concerned because at that time I lived in a, a, an apartment that had the shower and the tub were attached. I became afraid that the ceiling would collapse and the water would be on and I would drown, which is so crazy, right? So that's what I had with the tugging off. And so, so I went into the mirror just to see what it looked like. Oh. And it was horrifying. <laughs> I look like I'm trying to do math, very hard math. I'm mad at the math. <laughs> and I'm embarrassed that I'm embarrassed that I had to do math at all. Um, so yeah, it horrified me. I don't know why that came up to me to tell you. But, but now you know. Okay, guys. So we're going to play a little bit.